Hello, my name is Nafis Thompson and I'm a senior at Chestnut Hill College. I am Xavier Brooks. I am a junior at Susquehanna University. Thanks to the Studio in the School program, we've been able to work at Woodmere on an exhibition called A Million Faces, the Photography of John W. Mosley. We spent our summer doing research on the content of John Mosley's photographs. Which is a chronicle of the history of Philadelphia's black community from the 1930s to the late 1960s. Born in 1907, Mosley grew up in Lumberton, North Carolina. In the early 1930s, he moved to Philadelphia. He was part of the great migration of blacks moving from the South to the North, escaping the more severe racism of the South. These women, for example, prepare a Southern barbecue, and they seem like the kind of once rural people who made Philadelphia their new home in the 1920s and 1930s by the tens of thousands. Mosley records the beauty of their barbecue preparation in a straightforward, warm, and dignified manner. The Great Migration was also influenced by economic need to fill jobs that were left open by white males who went to fight in World War I. Mosley's career began at the Barksdale Photography Studio at Ephraim Market. It was there that he learned the essential skills of his craft. His work appeared in the Philadelphia Tribune and other black newspapers all along the East Coast. And eventually he became the staff photographer at the Pyramid Club, an organization dedicated to the civic, social and cultural advancement of Philadelphia's black community. Mosley worked out of the Christian Street YMCA where both his studio and darkroom were located. Since he did not drive, nearly every day of the week, Mosley would lug his Rolleiflex camera and other equipment throughout Philadelphia's public transportation system, doing as many as four shots a day. Mosley was called one of the premier picture-taking men of Philadelphia's black community. The term picture-taking man derives from the language of Frederick Douglass and signifies the proactive, positive image of blacks he tried to establish. In 1944, when a Philadelphia transit company hired eight black workers in the position of trolley driver, it caused a city crippling strike and counter-strike. Mosley captured the protests directly from the front lines. Mosley also documented the black community's long struggle to overturn the racist admission standards of Javard College an event of national significance. Mosley could be found photographing black Americans worshiping at church, working to provide for their families, dancing lavishly at cotillions, and enjoying what many Philly blacks affectionately call Chicken Bone Beach, the black beach of Atlantic City. One of the most captivating aspects of Mosley's work is the happiness he was able to convey in his subjects. At a time when African Americans struggled to achieve even the most basic human rights, photos of a jovial Sam Evans surrounded by children and a joyful woman dancing serve as mementos of the good time shared within the black community. And he took pictures of everything and he had, he took, he had, no, he had no bias um, as a photographer. He had no, uh, maybe his only bias was that he liked people. <laughs>